Time for some classic horror books. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books and today we have got classic horror books. My ranking for my top five favorite horror books that are, well, classics. So, obviously went with old style paperback forms to show you. A, so that way they're all kind of more matchy and they all kind of look the same. And B, just because it's my video and that's what I decided to do. So, another thing while you're checking out the bottom down there when you try and find these books down there. Make sure you check out my social media stuff because I'm more on top of it lately. Thanks with the help of Danielle. Uh, I'm posting like previews for like the, that day's video or an upcoming video. Also, just check me out on Instagram and stuff like that, because why not? It's really fun, really cool. So, yeah, let's get into the books. Uh, I talk about these books fairly often, but I've never truly ranked them in, well, a ranking format. Um, and, you know, I've got more that I have read, but these are my top five. Maybe an honorable mention might be like uh, Hellbound Heart by Clive Barker. Thought that was a good book, but I think these five top that so don't forget to like comment subscribe and let's get to my rankings all right in fifth place i've got rosemary's baby by ira levin this book was <clears throat> very weird very psychological and very out there uh the premise of this is there's a woman named rosemary and she's trying to get pregnant by from her husband and the dude's name i'm pretty sure is just guy if i remember correctly um they don't have like the description on the back of the book so i'm trying to remember his name pretty sure it's guy um but she's trying to get pregnant and the little does she know that guy is part of this like demonic cult that's trying to like summon the devil and or the the antichrist they're trying to get the antichrist and it's very weird. It's very out there. It's, uh, yeah, it's Guy. I just turned to a page where it said Guy. Um, but yeah, it's a very weird book. Uh, the reason why it kind of falls in fifth in here is it's better than Hellbound Heart in my opinion. Um, but I think it just falls a little short of my next book here. Because this was the battle was for fourth and fifth. Uh, my top three are relatively set right now until I read more. Um, but yeah. This book was solid, five stars. All of them were five stars. But uh, yeah, Rosemary's Baby, Ira Levin, really solid book. There's actually a sequel called Son of Rosemary, uh, which is not as well known, and a lot of people hate it. So yeah, Rosemary's Baby in fifth place by Ira Levin. All right, in fourth place comes Psycho by Robert Bloch. Uh, this is an iconic book, and it's also an iconic film. I mean, all of these are iconic films and books. Um, so this one is about Bates Motel, which is a, um, it's not like a haunted motel, but it's ran by a guy who seems sketchy as hell, lives with his mom. Uh, he's just weird. And this woman goes in to stay the night, mysteriously gets murdered by this figure that nobody really can tell. Um, obviously if you've seen the movie, you know how this goes. If you've read this book, you know how it is. It's a very weird book. I think in it, the reason why I think this out edges Rosemary's Baby is the fact that for the time, I think the plot twist in the book kind of was bigger than Rosemary's Baby. Um, the whole reveal about you know the family and everything I think was bigger than the plot twist with Rosemary's. I that's why I got this thing at number four. It's a really solid story. Again, a five star read. Absolutely loved it. So yeah, I highly recommend this one too. There you have Psycho by Robert Bloch or Block. I don't know how you say the last name. All right. If you've seen those two, you know the top three. But you don't know the order, so I'm going to tell you the order right now. 
In third place is The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty. This book was very creepy, very scary, and it was just a frightening book. Um, the whole aspect of the little girl who is possessed by this demon, it's, oh my god, it's, it's very scary, it's creepy, it's eerie. Do not read this book in the dark, do not read it alone in the dark, it's... The imagery is creepy. It's it's such a weird book. So if you don't know anything about this book, uh, it's about a little girl who gets possessed by a demon because she's an idiot and plays with a Ouija board. So don't play with Ouija boards. Don't get the one that's on the Target shelf because it's not good. It's got a demon in it. Um, but she plays with a Ouija board and summons a demon and gets possessed by the demon. And the whole premise of the book is pretty much people like priests are going in trying to help her no one can seem to do anything and finally the woman is like really desperate to seek help and finally finds someone who's like you know willing to do like the dirty work and like do it and it's really weird it's scary it's creepy it's I know I can't stop saying it but it, it really is a frightening book there you have The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty all right, we are down to the top two classic horror books that I've read. You guys probably know what the top two are, but you guys don't know the order they're in, um, but you're about to. So, in second place, this was a hard decision. Um, I feel like the only one that was like set in stone was The Exorcist in third place. Uh, four and five were kind of like a toss-up, and one and two were like... No idea where to put them. So, in second place, The Silence of the Lambs. <sighs> this is probably one of the top books I've read this year. I think when we did the video at the time, it was like sitting at second place, right behind um, Project Hail Mary. This book is great. It is phenomenal. It is a, it's a psychological thriller horror book, and... <sighs> It's just so good. Hannibal Lecter, absolutely terrifying. Um, he's just creepy. He's just a weird guy, but like he's he he tries to help um, Clary Starling in this to try and find um, what's his name, uh, Buffalo Bill. Um, they're trying to catch this guy who's pretty much killing like a certain size woman because. He knows that that's his size and wants to make a woman suit so he can kind of be a woman. I believe that's his intention. Um, it's very weird. It's very out there, but it is such a good book. It's book two of like the Hannibal series. There's Red Dragon, uh, then there's Hannibal Lecter, and then there's Hannibal Rising. I think that's... No, I don't think it's Hannibal. I think it's just Hannibal. I think it was Red Rising, Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal, and then Hannibal Rising. I believe that's the order it goes in. So I've read this one. I still got to read Red Dragon, but this book was so good. Five stars. One of the top books I've read in 2021. So there you have the silent. Oh, it's actually right in the back of the book. Yes, that is the correct order. So yeah, there you have the Silence of the Lambs. All right, it's time for number one, my all-time favorite classic horror book. <sighs> The Amityville Horror by Jay Anson. This book is scary. This book is creepy. And it makes me hate flies beyond belief. This book is a five-star book. I was torn between The Silence of the Lambs and The Amityville Horror. But at the end of the day, this book is just beyond scary. It's creepy. The atmosphere in the Amityville house is just terrifying. Um, again, the whole fly thing is just aggravating whenever I, like... You know, a lot of the pages have got, like, little flies on them and stuff, and it's, like, grr. Um, we actually just found the hardcover edition of this with a dust jacket not that long ago, so that was very cool. Um, but, yeah, no, this was a very solid book. It's, I absolutely loved it. So, there you have, in first place, for classic horror books, The Amityville Horror by Jay Anson. All right, guys, so these were my top five classical horror books of all time 
Very cool stuff. Very exciting. Make sure you let me know your classic horrors down below that you find absolutely stunning and that you love. Or let me know what you think about the ones that I selected. Uh, but yeah, no. Very cool stuff. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode of October. Later. Mm.